Welcome to this tutorial video. I will show you now a workaround for a problem in displaying the results of the terrain analysis. The results of the terrain analysis functions will be displayed as texture mappings on the terrain. At the moment this mapping is not adjusted correctly, so the result is useless the way it is displayed automatically. That effect is caused by a problem in the mapping algorithm of AutoCAD Civil 3D, which has already been reported to Autodesk. So first I go to the Terrain tab in our Helios palette, I select my surface and I select the slope analysis, apply the profile detailed and I run my slope analysis. As I already have some knowledge about the surface, I can say for sure that this result is completely wrong, for it seems to be completely flat. What I can do now is I can go to the Insert tab of AutoCAD and here I hit the Attach button. The bitmap from the analysis result has been stored to the project folder. So I can go to this folder, going back to the application and here I select my project and press the F11 key. As you can see, here I have the real result. So now I copy the path and then I go back to AutoCAD, insert the path and select the bitmap. I click open and here now I press OK. I have to insert my picture. For that I enable the object snap and I pick the lower edge of the surface and now I have to scale the bitmap manually. I switch off the auto snap and then I click and I now go back to the 2D wireframe view. I here have the bitmap so I can drag it to the correct size. Now this has to be done manually, so it might not be 100% correct, but I will come close enough to find regions I can't use for my planning. So when I map this bitmap correctly, I already can use this analyzation. I also can go one step further and map it to the surface as it originally was meant to be. For that I now have to select my surface and here in the tin surface options I have the function drape image. So I can hit on drape image. I can select my image which is already pre-selected here. Otherwise I could select it from the drawing and then I hit OK. So when I now go back to the other view, realistic, as you can see the bitmap has been projected to the surface and I can also load it into the object viewer and it's displayed like this. So now it would also be possible plotting the results. We hope that the results from this workaround are accurate enough for use.